is Carl DeMaio on News Radio 600 Kogo. Coming up at 4.30, is media covering up black racism against whites? Well, we're going to share a story that may suggest that. But first, we are looking at high-speed rail, a $100 billion project, $100 billion project in California. And Matt, this is one of those projects that stands in a league of its own. I don't just mean about how wasteful it is and the lack of logic behind it, but it's one of those things that if you want to cite a specific project in government that epitomizes everything that is wrong with how our government works, this would be a pretty good case study. Like uh, Al Gore found the $10,000 $10,000 toilet seat in the 1990s in the Department of Defense. Uh, or he found the manual on how to crack a glass ashtray. Or the bridge to nowhere in 2005 that was found in congressional earmark bills. The high-speed rail project is one of the things, one of the projects, one of the case studies that you could have a, a just a, a field day with. Finding so many things wrong with this project. All right, so high-speed rail, the reason why this was developed, two reasons really. Number one, you had a bunch of labor unions that wanted jobs, so they said, hey, let's just create a big infrastructure project. But there's, they could get jobs anywhere, you know. so that's just one of the elements driving it. But number two, you have a bunch of environmentalists who think about global warming and they say, you know, what's wrong with this planet is that we have cars and we've got um, airplanes and that's a lot of carbon footprint. So what we need to do is we need to create a high-speed rail project in California. Wouldn't it be neat if we had our very own fast train? If we had our very own fast train in California. And so they went to the voters and they said, this is going to be so cost effective we're going to build this big train project uh by the way we're going to you know basically seize a bunch of farmers land up and down the state of california to get this done but don't don't pay attention to that uh and we're going to make sure we use public private partnerships we're going to protect taxpayers we're going to invest a little bit in we want to do bonds uh but we want your permission and we promise you that we will not have cost overruns and we promise you that we're going to get private funding for this project and voters approve it and they're they're thinking okay we'll give it a shot and then the bureaucracy gets their hands on this little choo-choo train and suddenly costs start going through the roof suddenly all the investors that the politicians thought would show up and promised to come up with private capital to invest to offset the cost of the project, all those private investors, well, they didn't show up. So they went to the federal government and they said, can we get a bailout? Can we get free money? And in the stimulus in 2008, 2009, actually it was 2009 when Obama was there, Obama delivered billions of federal taxpayer money. Now, of course, the state of California says that's private investment because it's not state money. It's not coming out of your left pocket. It's coming out of your right pocket. That's not really taxpayer money. That's other money. It's still our money. And then on top of that comes out a report in 2013, you know, like two years ago, from the project's main contractor working for government, Parsons Brinkerhoff, that said, oh, guys, problem, problem, 31% increase in the cost of these projects. 31% increase in the cost of high-speed rail. For the first segment. And you'd think, you know what's going to happen? The government agency is going to say, oops, we got a problem. Let's alert the legislature. Let's alert the public. No, of course. Not only did they not tell us that the project was way over budget, but when specifically requested by elected leaders to report on the progress of high-speed rail, they denied the cost overruns. They even told their contractor to bury the report. 
so many things wrong here. A train that's not needed, private equity in a market that doesn't materialize, a bait and switch on where the money comes from, taking the money out of the left pocket, saying it came from the right pocket, but it's not really taxpayer money when in fact it is. A bailout from the federal government, lying to the public, covering up a problem, zero transparency, has all the ornaments that you need on the tree, if you will, of telling the story of what we see wrong in government at so many levels. And by the way, as our roads are falling apart, as we have no water infrastructure, we're pouring $100 billion dollars into high-speed rail, and telling everyone else, no money, tax yourselves if you want roads, tax yourselves if you want water infrastructure. Coming up, Congressman Jeff Denham believes he's got a solution to stopping this wasteful train to nowhere. He'll be my guest on the DeMille Report. Considering it's the holidays, how do you tame your inner shopaholic? I'm LaDonna Harvey. Join Ted Garcia and me tomorrow morning starting at 5 to find out on News Radio 600 Kogo. This is Carl DeMaio on News Radio 600 Kogo. Coming up at 5 o'clock, did President Barack Obama block the bombing of ISIS oil fields because he was worried about climate change? Got the answer to that at 5 o'clock. Stick around. Uh, but first, we are looking at the wasteful spending of your tax dollars on the high speed rail project right here in California. And it's not just the waste, it's the lie. It's the lie. They went to the ballot. They ask you, the voter, to give them money, $100 billion of authority for a rail project. And they said, we promise we're going to get private money. We're not going to go over budget. And guess what happened? They didn't get the private money. They went to the federal government to get more grants from Barack Obama in the stimulus package from 2009. That's your money, by the way, your federal tax dollars. And they're counting that as, quote, private outside investment. Worse than that, they're going to bust through the not-to-exceed price that they promised you to get your vote. And they tried to cover it up. All this money could be going to fixing potholes, could go to fixing our freeway system, could go to even water infrastructure. All of the needs that they keep... In Sacramento, saying, we don't have the money. We don't have the money. Go tax yourselves if you want a road fixed. Go tax yourselves if you want a reservoir increased. Well, even they they won't do that because they just don't like the environment. Um, This project is so wrong on so many levels. Fortunately, Congressman Jeff Denham, right here from California, chairs the U.S. subcommittee U.S. House Subcommittee on Railroads, Pipelines, and Hazardous Materials, and he has an idea on how to stop this wasteful project. He's calling a hearing in 2016. He joins me on the DeMaio Report right now. Jeff, thanks for coming on. Uh, First, let's start out with these hearings that you're planning for 2016. Uh, What are you trying to accomplish with the hearings? Well, I think the public has a right to know how their tax dollars are being spent and and where we can actually have infrastructure projects that – utilize private dollars. And so we're going to do a comparison um, across the country of uh, projects that are moving forward. Um, what is their cost uh, per rail, uh, per rail mile? Uh, what is it going to cost uh, per passenger? Uh, and just really get a true comparison on what that looks like uh, around the globe compared to other projects. See who's in line, who's out of line. Obviously, we've had some very strong opinions about California high-speed rail and their direction, their timeline, uh, their huge uh, cost overruns. Uh, but I think this is going to give them a, an opportunity to defend themselves or to um, actually see a comparison on, on other people that are doing it right with private dollars. So we've got uh, your prior leadership basically resulted in the public finding learning the truth about the cost overruns, this release of the Parsons Brinkerhoff report showing that the cost estimates for high speed rail in the uh, in California are going up. They're busting the budget, a 31 percent increase for the first operating segment from Burbank to uh, Merced. So you're laying the case out already. Uh, why will another hearing be beneficial? Is there anything Congress can do 
to actually transfer these taxpayer monies uh, to other projects, for example, uh, water infrastructure or even highway infrastructure. Absolutely. The uh, the stimulus dollars, the, the dollars that were supposed to be ready for shovel-ready projects uh, that were allocated in 2008, those revert back to the federal government next year. And so we are uh, looking at ways that we could better utilize those in California. Obviously, water infrastructure would be the biggest construction project that would uh, actually help out for California needs. But I think more than that, I, I just think that Californians have a right to know how their money is being spent. And you've got a project that has grown grossly out of control um, from what uh, voters originally approved. It was supposed to be a $33 billion project, uh, and voters were only uh, on the hook for a third of that. Now they're on the hook for a $100 billion project, and it no longer goes to San Diego or Sacramento. And so as they have uh, cut the scope down but increased the uh, costs uh, immensely, I, I think that uh, – Voters should have the opportunity to vote on this again and see if this is something that they truly want to spend their money on. So what do you think really is happening here? Because the evidence uh, that you've presented uh, is pretty damning. The evidence that others have come out with, audits have come out showing that this project is costing more, delivering less. It's not living up to the voter-approved uh uh, criteria that uh, were put in place uh, several years ago. So what's the real deal here? It doesn't seem like any sort of shaming is going to change California politicians' uh, decision on this issue. What are they really trying to do? If, if it's not build cost-efficient uh, transportation, is there another agenda at play? You know, it's hard to figure out what their agenda actually is. Uh, you know, a $100 billion project that has tripled uh, in cost is something that uh, – uh, taxpayers should, I mean, they should be flat out frustrated and, and upset about. And so that's why we wanted to go back to the ballot. Uh, but we certainly want to steer the uh, the dollars that have come from the federal government uh, to projects that uh, are our highest priorities in California, being our, our water storage. So I, I think that there needs to be more scrutiny on this project. I think that uh, we've got to continue to flush out those uh, um, legislators that want to build this at any cost. Um, and really, uh, I think, shame them into a position uh, where they're held accountable to the voters. So while you're doing these hearings and, and really shining a light on the problems here, uh, if California does not proceed forward, are you saying that automatically the grant money from the federal government, the federal dollars uh, that m were matched to this project, that those dollars would automatically revert back to other projects? Or do you think that this administration – given its leanings politically, will throw uh, Jerry Brown and the Sacramento Democrats a bone and find some excuse to continue to commit taxpayer dollars at the federal level to the project? Uh, they can't. We've been uh, making sure that we stop all federal funding to this project. What, what we haven't been able to stop is the 2008 stimulus dollars that were already allocated. But those do revert back to the federal government next year. Uh, we're going to make sure that they either come back to the federal coffers or they're utilized for a big construction project in California, being water storage. So there, there is the. Uh, so next year, if if the high speed rail authority doesn't get shovels into the ground, the money uh, that the federal taxpayers have put into this project, or at least put up for the project, that those funds would actually be, be withdrawn and put to other projects. Correct. Correct. And ultimately, we want to show uh, a complete abuse of, of taxpayer dollars. You know, we're doing a comparison of a project in, in Texas that is high-speed rail that is being done with all private dollars. We're comparing also uh, one in Florida. Yep. Again, you know, we can do high-speed rail projects. We can do big projects. We just don't need to waste the money in the process. I mean, here we're going to waste $100 billion in California when two other states are moving forward at a much quicker timeline with uh, a greater uh, passenger usage and being done by private dollars. I mean, I think one, one of the things that Californians are, are most fearful of is not only the $100 billion expenditure, but also being stuck with the ongoing subsidy year in and year out, which means their tax dollars aren't going to be utilized for highway funds or schools or, or higher education. They're going to have this continuous sucking sound from California high-speed rail. So one last question. If you are successful with your strategy of getting at least the federal dollars for this project re, um, repurposed for other uses, other infrastructure projects, do you think that will kill this boondoggle or do you think the, tax, the taxpayers in California will then have to make up the difference because politicians refuse to cancel the project? I think they'll be forced to cancel the project or at least go back to the drawing board. There is a way to do this project and to do it right. 
And, you know, you can see other examples uh, in other countries. You can certainly see other examples uh, in other states. But to just completely uh, spend taxpayer dollars and commit California uh, dollars at the pace that they're doing, I think is not only irresponsible, it's reckless. All right. California Congressman Jeff Denham, thanks so much for joining us today on News Radio 600 Cargo. You got it, Carl. Thanks for having me. And of course, uh, we are not going to let this story die. We are going to continue to f- uh, provide oversight and give you updates. Uh, recent LA Times poll, by the way, done in um, uh, September showed that a majority, a strong majority of Californians want the project canceled and the money spent on other important infrastructure needs throughout the state. We'll see if that happens. <laughs>